Alright guys, what do we have today is another Reebok Classic Box. Uh, it's the new style of recycled paper classic boxes. As you can see, this is my third colorway from my favorite shoe, the Kamikaze One Mid. And this is the blueprint, black and white. Uh, retail originally for $115, of course I didn't pay that price. Uh, those cost me $50. And they came from Chic. As you can see, when you order from Chic, you get free socks. Apparently, that's a nice touch. Thank you, Chic. Uh, let's put that to the side. Regular Reebok paper. Pull the shoe out and talk about it a little bit. And uh, tell you my story about this particular colorway. So, back in '94, when uh, Kamikaze One originally re came out in the market and Sean Camp was rocking them on the court, uh, he was rocking exclusively only the white, black, and green. Uh, call away and uh, when the model was released originally in the my store that I was going uh, often uh, to you know buy all my sneakers or look sneakers and all that stuff this was the first colorway I saw so uh, it was not the black and white there were these blue and black so I was kind of hesitant should I buy this one or buy the uh, Reebok black top alternative which was black and white and of course I uh, chose the alternative because of the better color combination at the moment. Um, these were kind of more subdued and not that visible. You know, my teenage soul was craving for more visibility, uh, of course. But uh, nevertheless, I love that model. It's my all-time favorite. So this retro is definitely one of the good executions as well. As you can see, the alliance match pretty well with the midsole. Uh, again, we have these color uh, sections that are missing on the original black and white pair. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but this uh, back section kind of reminds me of a angry face with the eyes and you know the grim and all that. Maybe it's just me, but kind of always reminding me for that. Uh, the vector logos on the hill, pull tab, and Reebok and vector logo on the tongue with the dual support laces and. Um, you know, super plush thick padding on the ton as well. Black and blue insole, the Ortolite insole, which is again not advertised. Hexalite on the heel, uh, great pattern that we know. The dipped toe stitching. Uh, all the materials used in this particular model are new book, uh, and. Definitely, it uh, has to be part of my collection since it's original callway. I had to get them, especially for the price of $50 and the free socks, apparently from Chic. You can't just pass that. I mean, it's a, it's a great classic model. Uh, it's definitely one of those that, uh, um, you know, continue to, to burn the fire of sneaker love inside me when I was a, a teenager back in 94. It was my senior year in high school. And uh, I was finally able to buy kicks on my own since my parents could never afford it. Uh, but of course, you know, it was only one pair a year or something like that. And uh, we had to be extra careful not to uh, scratch, ding, or do anything like that because it was a huge disaster, of course. Uh, again, the toe is a little bit more protruding than the original pair, but I really don't mind that. Just a tiny bit more room in, in the toe for you guys do, that like more room. Uh, same classic amazing pattern as uh, the other colorways. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely one of my favorite ones. And of course the model itself is my favorite one uh, for all time. I think it's the most signature classic and amazing design and the pattern that Reebok came up with uh, back in the 90s. Such uh, such a great signature and Sean Kemp was uh, one of my favorite players of all time. He was unstoppable around that time and wearing these shoes he was crushing everybody so uh, definitely the history is there for me uh, for this shoe and for the model and for the company. Uh, again around that time Reebok will start finally using Hexalite on top loaded not bottom loaded. Uh, the old setup was the Hexalite was placed between the outsole and the midsole right on the bottom so for those of you 
and myself back in the day when we were uh, short on the money and buy sneaker like that and if you're walking outside all the time you know eventually you will step on a glass or something sharp and it will pop um, one of those cells you know luckily it's not an air max that you can pack pop the whole thing just a cell from the hex light but still it was very uh, uh, you know very annoying and very very disturbing for us so when they start making the hex light and this is the, pr the practical uh, and pragmatical uh, point of view but even for a cushioning and uh, a real support point of view, having a hex light on the top is even better because you feel the, the cushioning right away since it's placed right underneath your insole. And when you hit this uh, uh, strike absorption and uh, shock absorption is a lot better uh, this way. And you know, from this point of view, like I said before, being on top when you step on the ground, if even if there's something um, sharp, or you know something that might endanger your cushioning system it's not gonna burst it's not gonna pop since it's so much in sight and but that's pretty much it another classic hallway from the Kamikaze, Kamikaze one um, thank you very much guys for your support till next time stay tuned to collectivekicks.com for more sneaker reviews news and history articles and you have a wonderful day